the album is called Lamenting of the Innocent, uh, but the theme really is uh, revolving around the, the uh, witch hunts that were going on in the 15th, 16th century. Uh, and uh, the, the songs are uh, on their own, but they're all revolving around this, uh, the book, The Hammer of Witches, that uh, uh, was written by Heinrich uh, Institores. We didn't want to do a concept album full out, like w with a story yeah, from... Not, it's not like chronological. No, no, no. So, so every song stands for on its own and uh, should be seen as, uh, you know, something... Identity. Yeah, exactly. Pitch back. We tried to evolve from uh, Crowning of the Fire King. We really wanted to do something else, bring, on, bring in some new elements. So there's some growling on it, there's uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Um, and um, the, the production was handled again, and mixing uh, was handled by Ronnie Bjornström again, because we really were satisfied with his work on the last album and the first one. We, we, we tried to do, I mean, it's, it's gonna, still going to sound like Sorcerer, of course, and, but, and we have... Uh, uh, we thought a lot about the flow on the album this time, we do always, but this time it was really important and uh, I think also that uh, uh, this time we have a, a real ballad on it, and, you know, a slow slow song that's really naked compared to the other songs. We yeah, we always have slow songs. Yeah, but yeah, well, really stripped yeah, down. But, yeah, stripped yeah. down with acoustic guitars and uh, some cello actually, actually by Svante Henriksson, also a really famous uh, cello, cello player. player. Yeah. yeah, so and uh, we we tr we tried to vary also like a little bit in tempos and everything. We didn't want to do just like really slow doom because I mean some of the criticism we got from the uh, Fire King was like oh, it's, it's just one tempo the whole album is just really slow so we, we wanted to mix it up so I, I think we, we managed to find a good balance actually Deliver us from and um, and yeah the singles we're releasing is uh, I mean Hammer Witches yeah it's, gonna, it's like the most up-tempo song that's the first single and then we have Dance with the Devil that's actually a waltz yeah. Waltz tempo. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's weird, but yeah. And then and the the deliverance that's yeah. uh, more like a ballad. So it's uh, it shows the the dynamics of the whole album pretty good. I think so. Yeah. That's why we wanted three singles also to yeah. to show. Yeah, well, uh, for Deliverance we have a guest vocalist, uh, Mr. Johan Lanquist uh, of uh, Candlemas. He's also a big brother of uh, the guitarist in my first band, actually, when I started. So I know him for like 25, 30 years. And uh, so the question came up, he lives around here, so where we live, so, uh, and he jumped at it. So uh, that was uh, great for us uh, and, uh, and a great experience to watch him work in our vocal studio. And uh, yeah, it was an amazing thing, actually. He's also going to uh, show up in, in the video for the song, so that's pretty cool. As far as the writing for the album, um, we got the new guy to write some songs. I mean, we yeah. used to be me and Peter and Anders and, uh, and Johnny, but then now Justin's in the band and he got to contribute two songs. Yeah, uh, I wrote uh, some on the song Instatoris, uh, and I also, with Christian as well, wrote uh, Age of the Damned, which is on the record. Um, Heavy song. They're heavy, they're pretty heavy, and uh, yeah, I also, thankfully to Anders as well, got to have some lyric liberties, so we uh, got to write a lot of cool, witchy, evil, demonic, satanic, burning witches lyrics together, which was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, it was just an overall pleasant experience, and it was nice to uh, just see how everything came together. Uh, Three, Pretty smoothly, positions. I would say. Yeah. yeah. And you also did some... I did some growling on the record, actually. Uh, not my uh, comfort zone, I'm a bass player, but I think that the growling turned out really well. That was really good. Yeah. If you listen to the album, you would see it's like, you know, uh, development. Yeah, I think, and I think it's actually a natural progression from uh, like just Fire the King. band. Like yeah. uh, during Fire King, 
when I popped in as well. Uh, you know, we got to play around a little bit uh, with the stage shows, and uh, we took some favorites like uh, Exercise a Demon, where there is a bit of uh, growling, I guess, and uh, it sounded good live, so we thought, well, let's test it out. And uh, yeah, just the overall chemistry of the band really shines on this record, I think. Uh, my, I think my favorite song right now is uh, Lamenting of the Innocent, the title track, because uh, yeah, just the chorus is so epic and really, in the mixing, we really got it right, you know, it's, it's like a mix of, it's got the clean guitars and the melody and the vocals and the choirs and everything, it sounds, it's just so powerful. Uh, okay, so for me I have to choose uh, Dance with the Devil, the, the Walls song, it's very especially it's also very epic uh, we, we always try to catch that uh, theatrical like you, you get a sense you get thrown away in some place uh, when you listen to the music your our aim is to put put you into, yeah, a different world. into a different world really so um, and I think that uh, song is really it really tells the story and it's uh, pretty interesting so yeah that would be my favorite So yeah, the album cover. We we uh, found a, a guy on uh, on Facebook that was really talented and did a lot of amazing covers uh, for books and also for, uh, albums. for al other albums. albums. Yeah, he's got, uh, this guy is called Dusan Markovic, and he's really talented. And we wanted something uh, unique this time, and not uh, you know, uh, yeah, something that really was. And capturing Special. the whole, yeah. capturing the vibe of the album. Yeah, of course, exactly. like you always want that, I guess. But he, uh, yeah, he, I think he really nailed it. It's really good. Yeah, we're doing a special thing this time with the uh, with the album, and we're gonna do uh, a, a box set uh, that will contain uh, a DVD of all songs, uh, videos of all songs, a CD with a bonus track also uh, called uh, Hellfire. That will be mixed by Mr. Max Norman, actually. The that's legend. The legend, yeah. So uh, that's going to be pretty cool. In the box set will also be some other tinkers. Yeah, yeah. Some goodies. Some, some goodies. Uh, yeah.